Hey, hey, mailbag 32-ish. And it's all related to each other, these two packages. So, let's get to the Amazon one, which of course arrived very quickly. I'm going to pull these out. Okay, there's one, there's two, and there's three, and that's all there should be. Uh, this uh, video is laser related. So the first thing I figured I'd better pick up is some goggles. Now, all the lasers I'm working with should be uh, 5 milliwatt output, though um, some of the ones I previously bought in uh, mailbag, uh, whatever it was, um, claimed to output 5 million watts. And I'm not betting on that. So, I decided to get an assortment. Now, why did I get an assortment of goggles? Because I don't know, have a clue which ones are going to actually fit me. And they're not exactly super expensive, which may not be a good thing. Since I have to protect my eyes, and I think my eyes are fairly important. So... Just open these up with lots of crackling sound. Yep, less crackling. And then I'll put up the stats up here in a moment. Okay, we'll start with the really dark ones. Apparently these have uh, cheat sheet. Uh, they only let in 15% of the visible light. They're supposed to be good between 190 nanometers to 2000. Uh, supposed to block UV, blue, red, infrared laser lights. And a thing called optical density of uh, 4 plus. And it costs fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Now let's just see. And they fit. So the next one, and I'm gonna actually see if I can test these things. I'll try the green ones next. Ah, they fit also. Uh, these green ones, they say that it's good from four hundred and five nanometers up to 650 nanometers again an optical density of four plus and it lets in 30 percent of visible light so the world just got a lot greener definitely dark greener and then the last one is the reds let's see oh man the world just turned red on me Okay, these were sixteen ninety nine. Uh, again, optical density of four plus, and these are specifically for one ninety to five hundred forty nanometer nanometers of a thirty percent visible light. So I'm going to now pull out the more expensive item. This is the most expensive item I've bought off of AliExpress. Uh, I'll put up there. Oh, and I probably already put up over there uh, what all these things cost, etc. And the, where I got them. So this one here is a power meter. Uh, the price is up there. It was about 146, I think, uh, including shipping. So I dug down, pulling off labels. And they claim it was worth $30.10 to get through customs. Okay, I can live with that. So, yeah, good thing I didn't cut that way. Let's see. Well, they packaged it quite nicely. So, it's a laser power meter. 
and essentially you fire in the laser at this point and it then gives you the power output now huh, okay let's just see i'm going to take a moment and actually do something strange called read the instructions okay i think i'm gonna have a problem with at least that side of the instructions yeah hey we got some english great okay so this is the uh, hwlpm mini 10 watt i've seen this on youtube and most of them say don't put 10 watts in uh, and even in their special notes they say uh, using it at 5 watts, yeah, see if you can read it too, uh, 5 watts, uh, don't do it for long, and only for a quick uh, 10 watt. It says pull off the protective coating. Don't put your fingers on the port, and don't whack the port. Uh, resolution, 1 milliwatt. Response time, 1 to 5 seconds. And 200 nanometers to 10,600 nanometers. Okay. Well, I am now going to pull out some protective... I'm going to go with all out on this one. Okay, I'm as blind as a bat now. Oh, all right. Better to remove the protective coating or plastic. So this is a red laser. I picked up uh, in another mailbag. Oops. Let's get this all set up. And it's doing nothing. What am I not doing right? Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously, I'm going to have to take a look at what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, with the re red, I'm putting it straight into the port. And this thing is almost no power by the looks of it. And it is shining in there. So that's actually below the 5 milliwatt. Now I'm going to grab the green one. Which I actually thought was one of the brightest ones. Oh, there we go. So it's actually listed at... 2 milliwatts. So, oh, 2, maybe 3 milliwatts. Okay. And now, this is the violet one. Now, it's definitely a bit spicier. 22, 23 milliwatts. So... This one here, okay, does it have its output? That says it's a class 2 laser. They actually aren't, don't have the, whoops, what the milliwatts is on this one. Now this one here, okay, the class 2 should be 5 milliwatts maximum. Okay, this one actually, the green, which I thought was the brightest, uh, said less than 5 milliwatts. This one says less than 5 milliwatts. And okay, now I just spotted it. This one here says less than 5 milliwatts. Uh, but, oops, obviously somebody's lying. Uh, so these two actually fall within the proper um, power output. And this one is high and obviously it takes a while for this to cool back down
Now, cute thing on this one is, uh, oh, bugger. I mean, oh, how nice. And that's most likely uh, telemarketer scammers. Ah. Ooh, how did I guess that one right? Okay, so here's the violet. And here's one of those UV, um, A, UV, C test areas. So this definitely... Either this is putting out a bit into the UVA area, or this strip actually does measure higher up. And this one here, no UVC. So that's kind of nice to know that this thing's going to make everything fluoresce quite nicely. Oh well. Okay, I've tried this. I'm going to do this again. So, here's the violet one. And they all have symbols saying that they're under 5 uh, milliwatt. So, I can get this up to 20. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is use the same set of batteries on all of these. Because on my previous test... I realized that the batteries on the one was, oops, get in there, a tad low. So, this is red. And it's not even reading. Okay, that would kind of indicate that the batteries I had in this red previously were stronger. Let's see. Because I want to use the same set of batteries on all of them. Oh, there we go. Three, four, four milliwatt it peaked out at. And this is the red one. So let's use these set of batteries. on the violet. Okay. Uh, this is definitely a lot spicier than 5 milliwatts. Uh, up to 26 milliwatts. And that's the violet one. And let's see what The green one does now. And yeah, I'm mixing battery types here. But I'm using the same set of batteries for all three of these laser pointers. And, oh man, that thing's bright. Hey, that's actually a lot better uh, results. Uh, 44 uh, milliwatts, roughly. And even with my goggles on, that is super bright. I actually switched my other goggles. Yeah, that's getting reasonable. Uh, this is with the dark ones. I can actually uh, <laughs> not go blind. So... That's it on this one. I'm going to do some more tests on this. I've got a whole bunch of these uh, 5 million watt um, laser diodes that are red. And I'll do another video playing with these and trying them out. But the original reason I got this, other than for fun and spend money, is I want to test some of those toys. I bought a while back... Uh, one of those star projector with laser also. And I glued over the laser part because I don't want to burn out the kid's eyes. So I'll do another video with these and anything else that I can find that has a laser in it.
uh, shortly. Have a good day.